Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot Card. These are your Daily Tarot Cards for Friday, February the 17th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Maccabee Tarot Cards. So we're starting off with the Six of Cups, and I feel like it's like universe is allowing us to pull for many cups. Usually we see ourselves sitting there and um, offering cups with the Six of Cups. But I feel like, you know, you're going to be blessed over and over again. It, we have the Sun card. Nobody will ever say anything bad about the sun card you know success is surrounding you new beginning of rebirth abundance like there's a lot of positive things we could say about the sun i just love that happy look on their face when i was reading this for instagram and uh, tiktok they were sitting there showing like the nine of cups again from the nightmare before christmas cards and that card has been very potent they're like that wonderful feeling that we all love you know and it's like we want to bottle it so we could feel it forever but we know in the low times we're learning lessons we're learning the lessons that we need to carry with us, especially as light workers. Anyone that has that this deck knows that's the coffin it comes in. Um, you know, we go through these lessons so we could be the light to other people. We have the five of cups in reverse, and notice how the two cups remaining of happiness are over her crown chakra, her aura. And it's just like, you know, thinking with our higher selves, it's like, you know, kind of wake up, like, you know, and realize the wonderful, beautiful things in your life that bring you happiness you know, your life purpose, you know, the two constant things in your life for me is my children. So the ha the haunting of crystals, I feel like is opening up ourselves more, healing the inside, we're moving forward, you know, concentrate on the things that make us happy. But also, again, in that meditated state is healing the inside. We have the magician and I feel like as this new chapter starts, you know, we're going to have the experience for it. They're saying it's going to be I don't understand that long and fast. I feel like it's going to feel long, but fast. I feel like, you know what I mean? Cause we're kind of, you know, when you're anticipating things and it's just like, you know, leading up to it takes long. And then that week will go really fast. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's what they mean by that. We're impatient. We're impatiently waiting for it to un uh, unfold. Starting off with the six of cups, memories, healing, you're f finding connections to your past. Your childhood helps you shape who you are and you, and you don't have to outgrow that N nurture your inner child, find activities that you enjoy with when young and try them again. So definitely for me was like, they were showing like swimming, my sister, um, like, you know, I was talking about this, I think with Instagram, it was just like, I would try to get to the same color badge as she was at. And then it's like, you know, she would... <laughs> The bugger that she was, when she would upgrade, she would upgrade two colors at a time. I don't know how the hell she did it, but she would. But that was what her her drive was. You know, they were like, she has the potential to be an Olympic swimmer. She was competing and everything. She had all the credentials to be a lifeguard at a very young age. So for me, it was like water was very important to like our childhood. We like, especially our first home that we remember of, like we had that outdoor pool and that's where we lived most of the summer so the sun so it, like even for me it's like the beach and is just like home for me you know i don't i don't know if anyone can speak of that but it's just like you feel at peace there you know just basking in the sun you know being at the beach you know just enjoy sounds of the water it's just home so clarity and truth when the sun arises after a dark cold night everything comes to light the glare enters from the window and all monsters gain form. The sun brings clarity and forces you to focus on focus forces you to focus you to face the truth, whether it be favorable or not. And this is sometimes ugly truth is, so it has to deal with our karma. You know, it's just like some of you may be going through cycles right now and it's just like, you know, you're seeing the ugly side of karmic debt. It's like. What did you do in the face of this? Did you sit there and use your higher self and just, you know, you know, this is that fork in the road. Am I going to go and do something selfish out of my old selfish game? And it probably wouldn't have worked out in most cases and don't. Or am I going to sit there and do the right thing? You know, causing deeper trauma to people that don't need it. So grief, great sadness, recovery and moving on. You're suffered a great loss. It feels it, it feels as though you've never uh, feel happiness again. I definitely could say that. You know, when this all happened, I didn't feel anything. It's like I just felt this deep grief. I felt like someone gutted me, you know, and it's just like you didn't know what to feel. You know what I mean? 
All I could do was cry. That's the only time I felt anything. Everything hurts and you're not sure where to go next. You're constantly being told to move on. But taking a moment to sit in your grief, give it space, it could be the best choice. And that's exactly what I did. They wanted to put me on sex medications. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm feeling every little thing. So I don't have to relive this grief again. You know, I don't want to sit there and have, to, you know what I mean? What kind of mom would I be that to my kids? I wasn't, you know, as present as I would like to be because I was healing. But it's just like, you know, I did the best I could. You know, I think a lot of us do. Allow yourself to feel your emotions before you're forced to move on, th forced to move uh, through them. I, I don't feel forced to do anything. Everyone's journey is different. You know, some people, they're able to sit there and move on sooner than others. That's fine. Every relationship is different. You know, everyone's needs are different. You know, some people, they need to be in a relationship. Some people, they're comfortable being alone. Haunting of crystals, comfort and self-care. A balance between ambition, financial gain, home, family can be, dif uh, be difficult to find. But the haunting of crystals does it beautifully. Be present and joyful with your family and enjoy the comforts of their earthly presence, uh, pros, their earthly uh, possessions bring. So I feel like, again, with the five of cups there, with the two cups at her crown, it's like concentrate on what brings you happiness. You know, what brings you back? You know, we can't be deep all the time. You got to find that equal balance. Like, you know, yeah, I talk about Yahweh, Yeshua, devotion, prayer, Shabbat, but that's not my whole life. It's a big part of my life because you know what? Time and time again, even when I turned my back against faith because I thought they were the reason that things happened because I prayed for them to stop and they didn't. And it's like learning people's free will. You know what I mean? It's just like, you know, you have to sit there and see life as it is. You know, it's not black or white or gray. It's just there's everything in between. You know, it's just like, you know. When you're able to live life for yourself, for, you know what I mean? Especially as a, an adult and you're able to live for yourself, like, you know, you don't have anyone dictating to you. It's like you are in charge of that. You and you alone, you know? So I feel like that's why they were showing the devil card and um, death. It's like we need to purge the things that we're chained to, you know? It's just like it's no good for us. We need to release that so the, the wonderful, beautiful things the universe is trying to bring in for us, Yahweh and Yeshua... Is just like, you know, this person needs to leave, you know, because they're not a part of it. They were part of the demise. They're part of this, this karma. You know, I don't celebrate people's things, but I do recognize, you know, cycles. And I'm like, mm, you know, I won't kick them while they're down because I'm not them. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you know, you see why it's happening. So the magician. Readiness, creation, preparedness. So they're preparing us. And I felt like this void, of course, before we start off in this new journey is that that's what it's, you know, this is why we're getting our rest and rejuvenation now. Me, I'm still recovering from the stinking cold. So it's just like, you know, it's take understanding what cycle we're in, taking the time to rest and doing what we need to us best. What, you know, sometimes we always overlook ourselves, but we nurture everybody else. The magician lays all of the tools in front of you and tells you you're ready. It's time to release any self doubt and barrel on ahead you have everything you need to succeed in this endeavor and this is what spirit is telling us it's just like we're preparing you for this new journey you're ready you know look out here you come you know what i mean i feel like especially like if you look at this honestly god it looks like a muscle this kind of looks like um a character from fortnite and he's really muscly i keep seeing like his, his like chest here but it's not but that's why i feel like you know it's kind of like an oxygen mask, but I feel like we're getting the nutrients or whatever we need here, you know, for this self care because they're preparing us for this new chapter. You know, I feel like that's why the sun card is here because it's just like every time you see the sun card, you know, again, abundance, renewal, rebirth, uh, fertility, you know, all that goodness, you know what I mean? Success, especially, you know, I know this has a different meaning, but it's just like, you know, I feel like that's what, I feel like you're coming out of that darkness. You know, like they're saying, when the sun comes out, you can see things for as they are. If you're someone that's afraid of the dark like myself, you know what I mean? It's like the things that you think you see in the, the closet are actually shirts. You know? Yes, there are shadow figures, but we all know that's either your side hasn't come in or it actually is a shadow. 
you know, you feel their presence and it ain't good, you know, when they're, they're there. But it's just like in the in the daylight, it's like, well, that's when you can rest because you can see everything around you. You know what I mean? And I feel like that's what they're saying. It's like, now you see yourself. Now you see what you're capable of. Now you see you yourself as the world sees you. And we can bless you with these things because you're not going to sit there and self, self-sabotage self or doubt yourself. And you're prepared for this. You're ready for this now. You thought you were ready before. There was still some healing to take place. But now you're ready to move forward. You know? I feel like with the Five of Cups when they're talking about grief and everything. I feel like you're going to always feel that. There's a part of you. And I just read this uh, passage. Um, this is why I write passages down in, in books. That way when I reread them. I can sit there and it's just, it resonates so much, you know, like they're like, you're never going to, you know, one that I was reading last night, it was like, you're never going to really get over it. You know, it's something that you, you know what I mean? Like when you talk about twin flame, it's like you two are so intertwined. It's like the, your energy, everything, the yin and yang. It's just, you know, sometimes two puzzle pieces don't look like they'll fit together. But, you know, me and Shane would always say that, like, we're the dream team. Like, there wasn't anything we couldn't figure out. We would just come together, make a plan, and go with it, you know? So, it's just like, I feel like you're ready for that next step. I feel like you're ready for what's coming, you know? They just needed to prepare you. You needed to heal from either uh, divorce, bereavement, uh, grief, whatever this is for you. Like, you know, you're getting over that. I feel like that's why they're telling you embrace your fireside. Bravery, courage, strength, resilience. Release all fear, worry, and doubt. They want you, like, what's the biggest fire you can have is the sun. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's just like, and you're about to come in this really highly charged nine of cups energy. We've been getting a lot of nine of cups, you know? But that, that wording that was there for the uh, nightmare before Christmas, if only we could bottle this feeling forever, you know? It, it's amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Friday, February the 17th. 2023. May the universe bless you good. Have a safe and happy weekend. We'll see you for the next Daily Tarot card.